Yeah, uh, you're here for your appointment with Dr. Jordan, huh? Yeah, I'm a little early. I mean, are you awake in his office if you want? I'll be fine here. Okay, then I will let you know when he's ready. Hey. Got a minute. Something I'd like to say. Really? I thought you pretty much said it all. Yeah, well, that's my point. I think I may, I think I may have been out of line telling you what I did about your father. Oh, you mean that he raped my mom? Well, don't lose any sleep over it, man, because, you know, he kind of did me a favor. Okay, the thing is, I have a suggestion. If you're into it. Well, I haven't walked away, have I? I don't like you any more than you like me, Lucky. But that's fine, because that's, that's personal between the two of us, not something that we inherited from our families. I think it should be that way across the board. Our differences are because of us, not them. Can you stand behind something like that? Can you? I think so, otherwise I wouldn't have suggested it. Yeah. Barbara, don't be so stubborn. My boy is here. I know he's eating you out of house and home. Now, the least you can do is let me pay for the grub. Well, okay, I told you that's not necessary, but if it's something you need to do... Well, I do. Thank you. What just happened here? Did I just thank you for allowing me to give you money? <laughs> Actually, that's an old hooker trick. Very effective, isn't it? Very impressive. <laughs> I guess it's like a bicycle. You never forget, huh? Um, do you happen to know where he is? No. You want to wait for him? Do you mind me hanging around? No, not at all. Okay, I thought I would uh, push him around a little bit, you know, try and get a confrontation going. I need him to yell at me, get some of this anger out, hopefully to take the sting off his next preemptive strike. I don't mind telling you. They're, they're starting to hurt. Why? Did something happen? Uh, do you remember that song? Rise? Um, it was popular during the resoundingly despised disco era. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, it was playing that night with Laura. Maybe I told Lucky. Somehow he found out. I... Anyway, he found a copy of it and he ambushed me with it at the club. The other oh, that's awful. Well, you know, the kid is angry and confused, and 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 I don't, I don't understand. Well, you know, we all get angry and confused and disappointed, but you know what? That's called life. Well, right. Uh, about your life. So, uh, you heard anything about your grandson? No, nothing at all. Are you okay? Yeah, sure. He's strong like bull. Bull. You strong like little bunny rabbit with marshmallow <laughs> heart and rainbow sprinkles. What's he doing here? Bobby, what did you do? Just run straight to his house and tell him where I am? Not right away, but lucky whether it pleases you or not, your father needs to know where you are. Just save it. No. No! You don't walk away. Whatever your beef is, it's with me, not with Bobby. She's been decent enough to put a roof over your head. You cut her a little slack. Excuse me, I'll take care of the groceries. What are you doing here? What do you think? I want you to come home. No. Look, you can still hate me. If that's what you need to do, you can hate me. But hate me under the same roof, Lucky, man to man, face to face. Come on, cowboy, what do you say? We, we can beat this out of each other. And then we can bury it forever. Well, you'd like that, wouldn't you? But I said no. 
Well, that's a word you don't understand, isn't it? Okay. I'm through here. I'm not. I thought you might like to know I ran into the prince this morning. He came dangerously close to apologizing for busting your dirty little secret. So? Well, so I let him off the hook. Told him I was glad to know. Because I am. See, I'm trying to keep the lines of communication open between us. Nicholas has so many, so many fascinating insights about our family's history. Who knows what I'll learn? For example, what kind of woman marries a guy who raped her? You leave Laura out of this. You want to come after me, that's fine. Give me all you got. You leave her alone. Why? Because she's not here to defend herself? Why is that, Dad? Keep more secrets? I didn't tell her about this, if that's what you mean. Well, why should she care if she's, you know, dealt with it? You know, maybe she hasn't. I don't know. Maybe she still has a feeling or two about the humiliation you put her through. Or maybe... Maybe you just don't want her to know. Because you're the same coward you've always been. Pretend it didn't happen so you don't have to look and see how wrong you were. All right, Lucky, that's enough. No, Barbara, that's all right. This one's mine. I haven't dragged your mother into this crap because it's not an issue between me and her. It's an issue between me and you. And we can slug it out on our own. Well, don't be so sure about that. Because I may just pick up one day and go someplace where you can't knock on the door and barge in on my day. There is no such place, Lucky. Remember that. Oh, don't even start. You shouldn't have let him in here in the first place. Lucky, hold it right there. Your father may allow you to blow him off, but that is not going to fly with me. He already gave me the lecture in the basement, remember? No, that was the kid gloves treatment, which you have pretty much demanded as your inalienable right. But you know what? The glove doesn't fit, not this hand. You are in my house, and like it or not, Luke and I are the parents around here, and we make the rules about how we will and will not be spoken to. Oh, I see. So I'm supposed to respect my adult role models. That's right. And as for the rest, you don't get to judge. Luke and I have earned the right to behave however we want. You have not. And we are not going to be your emotional hostages. So you found out something that threw you for loop, something that nobody ever bothered to tell you. So what? Nobody owes you explanations for things that happened before you were born. You need to get that through your head and stop treating your father like dirt, because he doesn't deserve it. What does he do that makes women defend him no matter what? He loves Lucky with all of his heart. And sometimes it gets him into a lot of trouble. And it's inexcusable the way you are using this against him. It was long buried. But do you understand that he did something people go to jail for? Oh, please. You know, Luke has done a lot of things that people go to jail for, and you have always admired him for it. Now, hear what I'm saying and know that I mean it. If you're going to be disrespectful to your father and to me, there's the door. You figure out what you want to do and get back to me.